Hit it. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Did you say him? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Did you say him, huh? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. Greetings, wild dudes and wild dads. Hmm, slow day. Yeah, I know. Be on the lookout for a topsy turvy tower, a carpet flyer losing his lunch, a stairway to nowhere, and a henway. What's a henway? Oh, about five pounds. <laughs> Look out! I just bought a joke book. One thousand and one narrator zingers. Okay, Wolf. Let's see if you can fetch this one. <laughs> Wolf's a fast fetcher. <laughs> Oh, yo, Wally, quick, I need your magic stick. What's wrong, Whitebeard? Ah, oh, hey, who? that's better. It was one of those hard-to-reach spots, you know? I'll tell you, hey, you know, as long as I'm here, I might as well tell you there's trouble in the land of the carpet flyers. Wow, Wolf and I have always wanted to go there. We <laughs> are? Yeah, okay, great. Hey, look, there's a boy with a problem who needs to race for a solution, and I've got a clue. I'll tell you, let's see. Oh, hey, I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, hey, thanks. Yeah, you're okay. Let's see. Beware of the lamp that's rubbed the wrong way. Wait, Whitebeard. Are there any other clues? Hey, don't look at me. Why don't you get a psychic, huh? I'll tell you, these kids today with their short hair, you know? They want everything spelled out for them. Come, Wolf. We're off to the land of the carpet flyers. Where's Wally? That's my line. You missed your cue. And that's because I was wearing earplugs to keep from hearing your stupid jokes. That must be why you didn't hear the train whistle blowing. Huh? Would you kindly wait by the portal? Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> Don't say a word, or I'll yank you bald. Isn't this great? Hello, everybody. Hmm. Now to look for a boy who needs to race for a solution. It's pretty mad. Let's see what's going on. Oh, your horses. I'm going as fast as I can. Now, now, I'm sure things aren't that bad. It is that bad. Great. Now my loom's cracked. I'll have to use the one in the back. My name's Rugnish, and I'm the local rug maker. Sure, you know I am. Everyone's racing carpet was stolen, and they want me to make new ones so they can enter the Rug Burner 500 this afternoon. I'm Wally, and this is Woof. We've always wanted to see the Rug Burner 500, haven't we, Woof? 
Isn't it the most prestigious race in the land? That's right. The winner gets to rub a rare golden lamp. If a genie comes out, he'll be declared king. Can you say that, king? Sure, I knew you could. I was going to enter, but my plans for a special racing carpet were stolen. Now who would do a thing like that? It was Ala Blobby, the biggest crook that ever lived. You know he is. Hmm. It's about time I called for a clue. Hello, Acme Camel Flossing and Pizza? I'd like to order a medium pepperoni with black olives and clues. They guarantee delivery by the end of the show, or we get the clues free. Here's your pizza. Follow the sneaker without being seen. Thanks! What a great clue! Yike! Don't worry, Wolf. Earthquakes don't happen in this territory, so it's probably just another type of life-threatening menace. Your stolen carpet rug, Nishtetsu. <laughs> Too bad. Uh, I, uh, I guess I won't be seeing you when I <laughs> enter the race. Shame on you, Blobby. You stole my plans, just like you stole everyone else's racing carpet. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe it's true, but not for long. <laughs> wow, nice shoes. Thanks. They're made just for me, air blobbies. But you'd better stay out of the shoe, you, you guy wearing a striped shirt and hat, you. Do this, Rognish. I'm off to prepare for the race. <laughs> hmm. The first clue said follow the sneaker without being seen. That must mean sneakers as in shoes. And Blobby's footprints go this way. Come on. Sure. Just let me put on my sweater. I'll be right there. You know I will. Ladies and gentlemen, join us as our curious crusader arrives at the home of that sneaky sneaker, a la Blobby. <laughs> Can I narrate the pants of a story or what? How will we get in? Ladder to the window? Rope to the roof? I usually just knock. What's, What's the, the password? password? Hmm, now that's a good question. What do you think the password is, Woof? And the clue is a seed for bread that opens doors. Rugnish? Um, oh, uh, uh, open poppy seed? Oh, not quite. Wally? Hmm, let's see. Open sesame? <laughs> That's right! Good job, Wally. We're off to visit the house of Blobby. <laughs> Guess who heard the password? Open sesame. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's a good thing I came prepared. Don't worry, Yardlock. Those playful gators will be more than happy to break your fall. Lovely. Needle! Welcoming committee. Let's go say hi before they try to maul us. Wally, be careful. Wally, Wally. Where's Wally? Can you say that? Sure, I know you can. Hero. He was under attack by a moving mob of marauding meanies. Ooh, I like that M thing. What do we do, Wally? They're upset because their speed and velocity is slowed down considerably by the dirt on their carpets. This should help them. Uh -oh. 
That should do it. A six-armed Cyclops. Much like your standard eight-armed Cyclops, except for one thing. What's that? They don't have as many arms. <laughs> don't worry, Wolf. I'm sure he just wants to borrow some of Mama Waldini's extra strength. Let me guess. Underarm deodorant. Actually, it's underarm, arm, 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 arm deodorant. Ah, oh, thanks, Wally. Now that's what I call a pit stop. Before you leave, remember, a tisket, a tasket. Your help is in the basket. Got it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Allah's around here somewhere. You know he is. <laughs> oh, what have we here? Intruders. Blobby, you're flying. And on a carpet made out of red bird feathers. <laughs> oh, good guess, Wally. Uh, how'd you figure it out? It was easy. First, there's the vibrant color of the feathers. Second, those red birds over there look pretty mad. This carpet made of feathers has made me as white as a feather. <laughs> and they said it couldn't be done. <laughs> you stole my plans. I was going to collect some pretty feathers and build that rug for myself. You know, I was. What? Little old thieving, devious, backstabbing me? No, I'd never do that. But when I win the lamp with the genie, maybe I'll let you wish for your plants back. But how do you know there's a genie in the lamp? There has to be a genie in the lamp. It's the only lamp in the story. Makes sense to me. Ah, it's race time. I'd love to stay, but I'm off to win the rug burner 500. <laughs> ah, pleasant fellow, but he really should practice his flying. Oh, now I'll never win the race, boys and girls. Don't worry, Rugnish. Wolf and I will let you use our carpet. You will? That's really nice of you, Wally. Let's go. Oh, I win. will be no thread pulling, illegal superpower vacuuming, no foot wiping. Hey, I'm the only one in the race. Then, uh, you can do anything you want. Oh, that's better. Start the race already. Start your carpet. On your mark, get set. Stop. <laughs> Hi, mind if we race too? Uh, I, I, uh... Great. Let's do it. Go! Oh, my dirty trick didn't work. But these mobs will. <laughs> Guess what I'm after. Nah, 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 nah. Good thing I carry a spare. See you later, Adla. Toodaloo. Rare moths, much like those found in the Amazon forest, are going to cause us to plunge 100 feet towards certain doom. Oh, oh no! Looks like Wally will soon be dropping out of the race. In fact, I wrote a poem about it. I call it The Fall of Wally. Ahem. Wally Fall. Come back, you all. Thank you. Let's 
Let's join our happy hero and his comedic companions as they plummet from the sky and go splat on the ground. You know, you really have a way of making these life-threatening situations sound so pleasant. Oh, I try. <laughs> We're gonna go splat, Wolf. Can you say that? Splat? Sure, I know you can. Splat? <laughs> Let's see. Uh-huh, just as I thought. Uh -huh. Oops, sorry for dropping in on you, Princess Alalala. -la. That's quite all right, Wally Lee Lee. That's amazing, Wally. How'd you know she'd be passing by at this very second? Easy. I checked the bus schedule. But now we can't win the race. We don't have a carpet. Ah, but I have a clue that will help. Remember, find a comfortable seat and enjoy the race. A comfortable seat. Got it! Thanks, Princess Alalala. You're welcome, Wally Lily. <laughs> One flying couch, please. Amazing. How did you know to come here, Wally? Princess Alalala's clue. Find a comfortable seat and enjoy the race. And what seat could be more comfortable than a couch? Ah, it's the only way to fly. <laughs> there he is. You're weighing me down. Bye-bye, birdies. <laughs> Gotcha! Come on out and enjoy the ride! Phew! But it's too late. We'll never catch up. We're beat. Can you say that? Beat? Sure. I knew you could. Maybe not. The Cyclops said, A tisket, a tasket, your help is in the basket. Uh. Would you birds mind giving us a little feather power? Five, four, three, two, one, lift off! Wow! That's what I call a road hog! Blobby, guess who's right behind you? Oh no, they're catching up. I've got to do something. I'm gonna ease up your pounds. Uh-oh. Blobby's trying to lighten his load so he can win the race. Oh, oh, this is killing me. I haven't eaten in five minutes. Oh, poor baby. Great work, guys. We're catching up. Winning! Now, Blobby! 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 Blobby. No! <laughs> and the winner is... Now, Blobby! I won! I won! I'll have all the gold, riches, and cupcakes with those little sprinkly things on that I want! <laughs> Hand over the lamp, bub! But Blobby! Silence! Don't argue with your new king! <laughs> Look at that, Wolf! The lamp does have a genie in it! <laughs> Who dares disturb the genie and the magic lamp? It was I, your master and king. Master Schmaster, you're not the one who becomes king. Besides, you rubbed the lamp the wrong way, and that rubs me the wrong way. 
Let's party. Hasta la vista, Blabe. So that's what Whitebeard's clue meant. Beware the lamp that's rubbed the wrong way. Yes. <laughs> it's mine. All mine. The genie will bring me Wally's stick and all the magic sticks I want. Uh -oh. Would you like to be twisted and wrapped up in a pretty bow, huh? I can think of a better way to spend the afternoon. I can't. See you next week, Adler! <laughs> I can't wait. Wow, the magic lamp. That's pretty spiffy. Oh, too bad. Another year without a king. Huh? At long last, the new king has arrived! I am at your service, your highness. Wow, King Ragnish! Who? Me? Yes, you. Can you say that? King Ragnish. Sure, I know you can. Look at me. I'm smiling. Thank you, Wally. Wally? Wally? Gee, I guess he went away. That's too bad. Where's Wally? Find him if you can, Wally Watchers. He left his couch double parked outside. There's Wally. But wait, I have one more joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Betty. Betty who? Betty didn't know we'd find him in the picture so fast. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Hit it. Where, 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 where's Wally? Where, 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 where is Wally? Where is Wally? Where, where? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>